Good morning everyone. Um, it's day three and uh, I'm just on my way to work but I thought it was really really important today to uh, give you a little bit of support, motivation, encouragement. I so know where you guys are today. It's taken a couple of days for you to actually use the, the sugar that's in your system. So until today, you've pretty much been, been running metabolically as normal um, and not many changes will, will have been very obvious to you. Uh, over the next two days, just let the bus go past. Over the next two days, um, you're gonna have to start finding other sources of energy. And so this is the beginning of the transition from burning sugar as a fuel source to burning ketones. Um, so this really is the beginning uh, of, of the trial, really. Um, and I think for me that the biggest test is to get you through these next couple of days um, feeling confident, feeling knowledgeable, um, and not having you know, worries about some of the very normal um, changes that, that are going to occur. Because the, the entire body, your brain, and every single cell in your body has to go through an adaptation phase over the next couple of days, um, which for some people is, is quite simple, um, and for other people isn't. Um, and to be honest, there's no real way to know which people are going to um, have any issues and, and which won't. It's, it's really totally individual and on a personal journey so um, all I can say is that I've, I've I'm in groups with 80,000 new keto eaters um, it was starting each week and the the journeys are, are completely individual so um, I'm hoping that the, the people in our trial who are going through it at the same time can share their experiences can talk about their strategies that they're using and, and things like that so yeah so today you will start to feel the hunger your body will start to drive you towards quick fix food and that's sugar so i've already heard people talking about fruit this morning and and that's it it's it's your body saying hang on a minute um we burn sugar at the moment what, where's the sugar go find some um, what we need to tell the body is okay we're not starving there's loads of food in our environment try burning this instead we need to make sure that we're eating, that we're drinking, that we're resting, and that we're being really, really kind to ourselves. And also that we're starting to, to recognize sugar cravings for, for what they really are. It's not hunger. There's 2,000 plus calories in that, in, in that plan every day. You're not starving. It's not hunger. What it is, is, is your addiction to sugar. Your physical, emotional, and psychological addiction to sugar. Once this passes, it's gone for good. You don't have to live with these urges to eat. Um, this is something that you can choose now. You can choose to completely get rid of these urges and it, and it literally takes days, maybe a couple of weeks for some people, um, but most people this takes days and it's gone and it's gone for good. So it's completely up to you now what you decide to do, whether you decide to come out the other end in ketosis with a renewed energy, vigor and burning fat for fuel or not um, and it's and it's completely up to you but I want to be here for you guys over the next couple of days um, I've got tomorrow off work because I know day four is is tough so so I'm going to be around but this is it um, and by this time next week we'll, we'll all be in ketosis and we'll all be enjoying the benefits of it um, I'm not going to say that you'll never think about sugar again because because that's not true I started thinking about sugar the other day when I when I had sweeteners so um, it's just learning those strategies to avoid it and, and for me all I needed to do was say sweetness is, is no good um, and they, they, it's gone again so I so woke up this morning thinking about bulletproof coffee <laughs> instead of uh, sweet cereal and, and the brioche that Amelia decided to eat this morning so definitely can be done um, we can definitely get through this the next 48 hours are critical really um, so I want to you know, say to you guys that this is it this is the day that you come face to face with those sugar demons. Um, and these are the two days that you make the decisions that's gonna shape the rest of your life, really. Um, whether you want to live in, in a, a high sugar, high risk life, or you want to live in a life where metabolic disease, obesity, heart disease, and diabetes is not something that you need to worry about. Um, it's, it's completely up to you now. It's, and it's just over the next couple of days that you make that decision. Because after that, it's easy. 
once you're in ketosis and sugar is, is out of your head and ultimately this is where we're trying to get it once it's gone it's gone um, and it's gone for good and you can you can make far more rational decisions about what you're going to do with with your mouth so that's it for me um, I'm around all day if you've got any questions then please um, drop them on the group and I will answer them as soon as I can I am in work but you know I'll, I'll try and um, every break time and everything else and make sure that I'm answering questions um, but this is it eat today guys eat for the next couple of days don't think you need to fast don't think you need to do anything spectacular don't listen to anybody else who's, who's going through a journey at a different stage for you you just need to quick sugar this week that's it so stay away from carbs eat your food um, and I will speak to you later bye